Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. In 800 feet, slide left onto the ramp. Continue for two miles. The heel of my come and take away the pain. He might come and take it all away. The heel of my heel of my bring the rain. The heel of my heel of my leave you in a hurricane. Oh, the keep breathing on the bounding way. It might come and take it all away. Oh. <laughs> heal of my, heal of my, heal of my, come to me today. Oh, when you feel like coming you by, pray. Come on, keep it steady as a sun at the body say We aren't in our final phrase oh. I've been waiting here Chicken scratch prayers come to pass I have ripped out this is what my van looks like right now i filled up my water tanks today but i didn't have time to put them in my jug i need to take out my trash and i was going to do that after taught away but i forgot so still have these trash bags here i still have these water jugs here this stuff just fell over. I don't even know what, what is this? Oh, these are bananas that I need to put in a food storage bag and freeze for my smoothies. Oh crap, wow. I have frozen rice that I didn't even put up after I got it at Trader Joe's today. Yeah, this is my dinner that I got tonight that I showed you all. Didn't get a chance to throw this away. Those of you who have watched my videos for a long time, like you know my van does not look like this. It just doesn't but it's the reality it happens sometimes and i'm i'm extremely frustrated i'm very 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 frustrated my camera it's because of my camera so i was just trying to film the rain and the camera the switch to turn on the camera just snapped off i searched online i searched reddit forums trying to figure out how to troubleshoot this find a workaround and no one had a workaround. Everyone said they had to take their camera back to Canon. And people were saying it took them one or two months before they got their camera back. I'm super frustrated right now, but I'm trying to remind myself that it's not a big deal. Pretty soon this issue will be fixed and it will be behind me. I'm telling myself that, but um, I'm annoyed. <laughs> and then crawling and then crawling back here to this mess i feel like i feel on the brink of tears <laughs> which is ridiculous okay i'm going to sleep i'm going to sleep i'll see you all tomorrow This is also what had me feeling some type of way last night. It's hot. So I went to Tide Away last night, which for those of you who don't know, it's just um, a nighttime prayer. And whenever I go to a masjid, no one talks to me. 
and usually I just sit by myself and I wait for us to pray and I'm fine with that you know I'm, I'm not a social person anyways so I go to the masjid last night and I'm sitting by myself everyone's talking and stuff and I'm just sitting and reading and then this girl decides to sit next to me super sweet and she starts talking to me and it caught me off guard so we start talking and then she's like where do you live and i gave her the name of the city that i'm always in like since i started living in my buick there's a particular city that i spend the majority of my time in whenever i had my office i had my office in the city I'm always somewhere around this city. I don't have a home base outside of my parents' home, but you know, that's their home. So I said this city and she was like, oh wow, really, where? Where do you live? I live there. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind like whenever I said the name. We'll just say, let me just think, um, let's just say it was Asheville, North Carolina or something. You know, I was like, oh, Asheville. She's like, oh, wow, I live in Asheville. Where in Asheville do you live? I was like, um, uh, 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 <laughs> I guess it caught me off guard. I'm not used to ask, I'm not used to answering this question because I don't talk to people outside of Musa, my parents and my brother. I don't talk to anyone. You all are the only people I talk to. I am just not used to conversations. <laughs> not used to it. I've always been an awkward person, but I'm even more awkward now since living in a vehicle because I'm so isolated. It might seem like driving around and traveling, you know, is the opposite of isolated, but I'm very much isolated. I do not interact with humans very much. So I'm not used to being asked certain questions. I didn't have time to prepare an answer for this kind of a question. And I just felt so dumb. And I was just like, I was like, um, well, I, 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 I actually, I don't know where I live. <laughs> I was like, I'm not really familiar with the area yet. <laughs> I don't know what to say. She, she was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know where the Whole Foods is? Is the Whole Foods? And then I, I used to have an office on this road, and I was like naming roads and stuff. She's like, oh yeah, I go to that Whole Foods. I know that area and then she was so nice she was just like oh you know they have two dollar coffee at the Whole Foods and, da -da -da -da. and she just started talking about other stuff I felt so ridiculous like what grown woman does not know where she lives I'm not a freaking five-year-old five-year-olds have probably memorized their address by then and then the way I was stuttering like, uh, 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 like that's what I said I'm not exaggerating I was like uh, well uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so then she was like well well where did you live before and i just said my parents address like i told her the city that my parents live in like i don't have time for this i don't have the answers you know that's usually what i do is tell people my parents address that's the address on my license and then we started talking about whole foods or something she's telling me about a coffee bar at whole foods i, I didn't know what to say to that either i don't drink coffee i've never had coffee a day in my life so i was like oh okay yeah and then we start praying and halfway through the prayer they make announcements and they're like can the owner of a blue ford transit connect with license plate blah 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 from this county please come to security i was like we were looking around and i looked at her and i was like i think that's my vehicle she was like really oh no i'm like i probably sound I probably seem so ridiculous to her. I, she asks me where I live and I trip up. I tell her I don't know where I live. <laughs> and now security is calling for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I get my keys and she she was so sweet. She was like, I'll watch your things for you while you go talk to them. I was like, thank you. So I grab my keys. I leave my purse and stuff over there. And I go find security. There were, there were three security guards standing there. Like big dudes just standing next to my vehicle waiting and they were all pointed looking at it and talking and stuff <laughs> security is like this is your vehicle i was like yes well you know it looks suspicious all of your windows are covered what's new and i i'm like i have valuables in my car i don't want people looking in my car i'm here for tata way just like everyone else and then we talked for like another 30 seconds and then they were like okay well 
Now we know, we just wanted to know. And for the people who are gonna comment, don't cover your window, you should stop covering your windows. It makes you look suspicious. Of course people are gonna call. I'm gonna cover my windows. <laughs> I have things in my van that would make people wanna look in the window and see what it is. I'm not gonna leave that out in the open. And then if I don't cover my windows, people are gonna say, oh, but how are people, but how do you protect your valuables? People can look right in your van. What are you gonna do about that? You know, it doesn't matter what I do. People are gonna have something to say. So I'm, I'm gonna cover my windows. I'm gonna keep covering my windows. As long as I'm not breaking the law, I'm gonna do whatever it is that I feel comfortable doing. So between a random girl talking to me unexpectedly and asking me where I live and me telling her I don't know where I live and then being called out to security in front of everyone at the masjid like I'm going to the principal's office <laughs> you know like cops are waiting outside to handcuff me and then getting in my van it took me a little while to figure out where to park because the first place I went to was a little sketchy it did not look safe so I had to find another place and then my camera breaking and then me crawling in the back and then seeing all this crap back there because I forgot to put my groceries up. I didn't have time to put my water in my jug. There was just stuff everywhere. I forgot to take out my trash. Between all of that happening within the span of like two or three hours, I was so frustrated by midnight. Thank goodness I have grown so much and I have learned not to dwell on things. I used to be a dweller. I would dwell on everything. You know, why didn't you have an answer, da 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 I'm not a good conversationalist. I'm not, I'm, I don't talk often. I'm just super awkward. I'm an awkward girl. Charmaine, I recently, not too long ago, I met a subscriber named Charmaine um, and we were talking for a little while. I was probably awkward when I was talking to you. I feel like I did a little bit better than usual with you. But it was easy because you already knew about me. But you're not gonna ask questions like, where do you live? You know what's up, you're a part-time vehicle dweller. My conversation with Charmaine was great because she already knew about my life. So our conversation was about things that I can talk about. <laughs> I can't talk about coffee, I don't drink coffee. I can't talk about where I live. I don't live anywhere, <laughs> I live everywhere. It's not easy for me to talk about normal things with regular people. It's just all the normal questions that people ask. Where are you from? I'm not from anywhere. If you all don't know, I'm a military brat. I kid you not, I'm not from anywhere and I'm, and I'm from everywhere. I've never had a home base in my life, ever. That, to this day, I can't answer that question, where are you from? I was born and raised in Germany for the first five or so years of my life. But am I from there? Mm. Well, where did you live the longest? That's where you're from, uh, between Germany and Hawaii. But people don't like that answer. I was talking to a Mexican dude one day and I told him I was born and raised in Germany for the first few years of my life. And he was like, but where does your passport? I said, I have an American passport. Oh, you're not from Germany then. <laughs> Anyways, people ask these questions. Where are you from? I don't know where I'm from. I'm not from anywhere and I'm from everywhere. Where do you live? I live nowhere and I live everywhere. What do you do for a living? I don't know. <laughs> YouTube, gig work, some other stuff I'm working on. I don't freaking know, man, just stuff. I do stuff for a living. <laughs> it's a, that's another reason why I don't like meeting people because they all ask the same questions and I don't have an answer that's acceptable by society. And that's fine with me. I don't care about having an answer that's accepted by society, but I just don't feel like explaining everything. I don't feel like it. I don't I don't feel like being stared at like, okay, okay, because every answer I say is weird. <laughs> so meeting Charmaine was just a breath of fresh air. It was the first time I met someone who I felt understood me. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Well, this is weird. This is unexpected. <clears throat> that was unexpected. My period is about to start in about five or six days. I'm going to blame it on that. I'm legit feeling emotional right now. <laughs> 
I'm legit feeling emotional right now. That's so weird. It was when I made the statement, it was the first time I spoke to anyone who understood me. That made me feel emotional because I've spent my entire life Oh my gosh, what the heck, man? <coughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> I was gonna try to hold my breath and hold it in because that's how I keep from crying, is holding my breath. <clears throat> it really works. But I'm at a point in my life where I, I just cry if I feel like crying. I don't care for how, how ridiculous it seems. <laughs> I just cry um, because it's very therapeutic. And clearly talking to this camera is therapeutic as well because I was just chilling, just talking. I guess that triggered me because I've spent my entire life being misunderstood. I'm surrounded by loved ones, but being misunderstood. I've, I've always been different. For most of my life, it just wasn't accepted. My views, the, the things I wanted to do, the things I would believe and say, like they weren't accepted. And of course I have four people in my life who love me very much, but I'm not fully understood by any of them. Most of us are not fully understood by anyone in our life. Even in college, in college, I remember like pretending that I liked certain things because that's what all the girls liked, that's what everyone liked, but I just wasn't into it. I, I faked it so much in life. Rarely did I find anyone who I connected with, and I've been searching to feel understood for so long. And this YouTube channel helps me with that. I never realized it until now. <laughs> I'm really getting to know some of you all. I love reading your comments and hearing your stories and if you're watching my video I feel like you relate to me on some level like you understand me to some level the the sweet sweet beautiful girl I met last night at the masjid very sweet she and I I already know we could not relate <laughs> the things she kept bringing up I just did not have anything to say about any of it and if I did have something to say it was a response that made her tilt her head <laughs> and look at me oddly <laughs> I'm just tired of that. I'm tired of experiencing that. Anyways, Charmaine, it was a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Clearly, my experience with you did more for me than I realized. <laughs> she was telling me where to go to donate plasma to make money. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. I've never heard of donating plasma. <laughs> I'm not going to have that conversation with a stranger. No stranger is going to offer that information to me. She was like, oh, there's a Walmart over there you could park at. We were talking about the cop situation. Um, we were talking about traveling, like we were talking about things we vibed on. It was so refreshing to meet someone who understood my situation, who understood parts of my mindset. I'm, I'm always going to be an introvert and a slight hermit, but it would. But if I do meet people, I want to put myself in positions where I'm going to meet people who get me. You know, van life meetups or even homesteading because. Eventually, I'm not I'm not going to be a full-time van lifer. I'm going to be a homesteader. You know, go to some tiny house conventions, some homesteading conventions. I don't know if that's even a thing, homesteading conventions. Of course, it's great to meet people who are different from you, but I've been there, done that my whole life. Now it's time for me to meet people who are more similar to me. Okay, I think I'm done now. Thank you, Charmaine. And thank you to all of you who vibe with me, who get me. I appreciate you.
I feel so much better after getting that stuff cleared out back there. Oh, I didn't even see how much this cost. Fifteen dollars. Dang. And thirty? I was not trying to spend that amount of money. going for neat I'm just going for accessible easy access it's really not possible for it to be organized and neat in here with the amount of ingredients I like to keep in my cabinet I know it looks crazy but this is so much better than it was before because I can reach things I can easily pick up stuff and see what I have I couldn't do that before it's so much easier you can see all of my paint chipping before my next trip i would like to repaint everything but it is what it is
I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send you an email in online repair request form. Okay. Uh, you don't really have to go online. All you have to do is fill it out. That's pretty much it. Um, did you get that email from me yet? Yes, I see the email here. All right, thank you for choosing Canon, and you have a good day. You as well. Bye. I'm about to go to Best Buy. I have to buy a card reader now because I'm about to mail my camera to Canon. And I just realized this morning I have footage on that camera. I don't know if I have footage for this video, but I might. And I need to see, but I can't turn my camera on. So I'm going to have to take my memory cards and put them in a card reader. So I have to go to Best Buy, get a card reader, spending more money, spending money on shipping, spending money on repairs. This is a business expense, I think. I feel like I'm gonna write all of this off for taxes. <laughs> I'm about to spend several hundred dollars just because of a broken on and off button. It really pisses me off, but I'm not stressing about it. I'm not gonna stress about it. I think I'm going to the library after that and I just wanna work all day. So let's go do that. Card reader for these cards. Thank you. I wanted to see if um, this will read both of these types of. Thank you. Yes, it will. So it, if you are using micro SD, you'll just have to use the adapter for it, but it'll work fine. is the one that I got. Time to say goodbye. Oh, I never showed you all. This is what fell off. The on off button. You would think you could just stick something in there and you know, push a button or turn it. But no, Canon won't allow it. They want you to spend $500 on a new one. Yes. The zip code is. Oh, today is Thursday? Yeah. Oh, I'll do. Okay, I'll do ground. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're really helpful. I appreciate it. Thank Have a good day. Have a day. Thank you. library the library is closed now so i'm gonna go find a lowe's or a walmart or somewhere i have a headache partially probably from fasting and probably and i also think it's from staring at computers so much i'm considering getting these blue light blocking glasses that i've been seeing a lot online but i don't know if they'll help me with headaches if they're not going to help me with headaches i have to look into the research of What's the purpose of them? I I'm currently at a Lowe's and I'm scoping it out. My first time being here and I don't think I'm going to stay here. I have stayed at enough Lowe's and Home Depots to get certain vibes. And the vibe I get here is that by 11 p.m. I'm going to be the only vehicle in the entire parking lot. And that's not good for me. I need at least a couple of other vehicles, you know, so that I don't look crazy out here being the only vehicle all night it makes you stand out a lot i look for 
really I look for semis. If I see even just one semi in the parking lot, I'm good. I won't go right next to the semi, but I'll go like somewhere in that vicinity. But if I don't see a semi in the parking lot, if I don't see another van in the parking lot, these are the things I usually see at a Lowe's. I'm at a Walmart now, and as soon as I drove in, I saw them. Clearly, clearly van lifers. And then at night, I'm sure the truck drivers will arrive. <laughs> You feel that you didn't ready to do really well on your other endeavor. Yeah, I do. Um, I guess I was saying maybe she's going to just take off. All this hard work is finally going to pay off. That's oh, how I feel. That's how I'm feeling right now. Mama, what are to eat this entire pan of food. <laughs> See you guys. 
see you later.